Hello, another update for me with the purchases I did the last two or three weeks. First, we'll start off with this DVD Brian Eno Music for Airports, um, performed by Bang on a Can All Stars. So, music from Brian Eno. And there's another uh, In the Ocean uh, kind of music documentary, uh, kind of ambient music, and uh, I'm curious about this DVD. Then I bought this one, Ashwa, Manuel Gutsching, um, electronic music from Ashwa Temple and this uh, kind of electronic relaxed music. So nice to have this in the collection. The next one I saw at the shop was this DVD, the CD from Magma. Commando, and I read on the internet that this isn't the official release. Magma normally puts out the records on seven records, and this is a compilation uh, CD. Um, it has uh, disc one, the Udu Wudu CD, and disc two. Um, I don't know the name of this CD, but to this, the two uh, CDs and uh, as extra this Mechanic Zine Life and this from the Life uh, from 1975 LP CD so two uh, CDs Magma uh, what I bought yesterday is this one Continuum 2 this is a collaboration between uh, Stephen Wilson and Dirk Series, alias Base Communion and Vitna Armana. Um, I'm planning to do another video today about Base Communion with the things I have. It's a, a, a nice uh, packaging, it's bigger than a normal CD. And uh, it has three postcards of cards in it. It's uh, on Solomon Records, I think it's from Poland. And you see here Stephen Wilson, this is the CD. And here it says Stephen Wilson, the Xeris. And the photograph and design by Les Oil. Hope you can see it. It's a kind of droney ambient music from Stephen Wilson and the Xeris. It's Construct. Four, five, and six, and uh, each song about 20 minutes long. For my collection from Tone Float, I bought this one. I had already uh, the, the vinyl, but not the cover, and uh, so I bought this one. The New Creatures Dutch band, and a very nice old handmade cover. Tone Float, seven inch. I don't open it, it's on red vinyl, nice to have. Another uh, thing I bought from the fans of Stephen Wilson, well known I think, it's uh, We Lost the Skyline, an acoustic uh, performance in uh, Orlando. It's uh, a great fault, I bought this on the, on, on the, on the internet on the Kat Katawiki. Some tubes from the amplifier tubes. Very nice. Um, on it's this, these are the songs. Very nice. It's also on the black vinyl and on CD. Sounds very good. And a very nice orange vinyl. I think a thousand copies are made of this one. So, very nice. We lost the skyline. John Wesley plays together with Stephen Wilson because the whole band couldn't fit in the place where they were playing. So, another thing I bought when I was in the shop is this one. It's uh, Stephen Jensen and Richard Barbieri. It says on the sticker um, Rare 90. 96 
recording from the Milky Way Amsterdam available for the first time on vinyl. The only concert performed ever by Jensen and Barbieri, featuring Mick Cohen on bass and saxophone and Steven Wilson on the guitar. So it's very nice. It's from uh, diverse uh, CDs, LPs from Barbieri and Jensen. This is how they're get them out. These are the songs. Back cover, front cover. Very nice to own this one. This is uh, side one. I believe it's on the K-scope. Yeah, K-scope label. Side two. And because I was a little bit in the Jensen Barbieri Khan style, um, they're all members or were members of Japan. I thought, well, I saw this one. Let's buy one album over Japan and see where Barbieri and the rest are coming from. Japan, Quiet Life. Didn't listen to it once, so I don't know the music very well. First album from Japan and first one time I listened to it. And from Japan I come to Tim Bowers and Stephen Wilson, no man. The members of Japan aren't playing anymore in this band, I think. Uh, I bought it yesterday. Um, so, uh, Love You To Bits, the new album from No Man 2019. Uh, let's open it up. I didn't watch it, listen to it yet. It's a bit disco uh, related, I think. It's, the cover art says enough. Nice photograph. Uh, the ball in the street and here a ball in a cave with some gravity. I listened to it and I also listened to uh, Love Cries and Love Blowns is the CD I think. And uh, I think it's, it's resembling some, some kind of... So, no man. It's also on uh, colored vinyl but I was too late to get a copy of that. Black and white photograph. Another tunnel. Without graffiti, and here are the lyrics. So it's uh, two times uh, "Love You to Bits." One side says uh, one to five pieces, 70 minutes and two seconds, and the B side is pieces one to five, 18 and 53. Can't tell you a lot about this album, but I'm happy to have another uh, another album from Stephen. I will show you the. A side, a B side. It's on uh, Caroline Records. Love to the, to the Bone was also on Caroline Records. So, from Steven Wilson, this also on Caroline Records. The next album you already saw, maybe, is the album uh, from Nick Cave. Uh, where did I buy that? It's it's from 2013. So it's uh, Nick Cave has another uh, album out. Uh, just uh, released another album. I like the Skeleton Tree album also, and uh, I bought this one because um, in the music magazine I have the Or. It was uh, this album Nick gave in the back seat was at number one from this decennium, so from 2010 until 2019. This was uh, became the best album from that. Decennium, and I thought, well, it's a nice price, so let's buy uh, buy this one. I know some songs, of course, but I don't know the album, the whole album very well. But the Jubilee Street, Hick Buzz and Blues, Blues, I saw them a few times live, very, very good. So let's see what the vinyl has some. Maybe some surprises, but I don't think so. But this is the inner sleeve. With some lyrics and notes. The final. The labels, side one and side two. Nick Cave. I don't, I don't know, I have some uh, 
few, uh, earlier work, but I don't listen to it a lot. I think the newer work is the best. I don't know the new CD, LP. So maybe I'm going to listen to that also. And the last one I bought was this one, a uh, reissue of Ken's Tagomago, well known on the internet. And um, I was in the shop and I asked, her, do you have a reissue? He had a lot of reissues of Ken and he had one behind. The, how do you say that? Well, he had one lying there for someone else and he said, no, he doesn't pick it up, so take it. And a sleeve with side one and two, very nice traditional music and side two, some improvisation, improvisation uh, music that's improvised uh, and I don't have, haven't listened to it a lot. The first album, I, I listened to the second album, I have to listen to it more. It's more experimental, I think. And this is on uh, on Orange Final reissue from 2019. So very nice and interesting to listen to. I will show you one. It's a little bit uh, transparent. Orange Final. Black was okay for me also, but this one was the one he had. So um, it's my update from uh, the music I bought. I'm now preparing to make another video on Stephen Wilson's Bass Communion. So bye bye for now and maybe till the next video. Bye.